So I'm going to talk about what is the I3 window manager, what is a tilling window manager, and specifically what is I3, uh, what's the work, what we are doing in the Fedora I3 SIG, what objective we have, what are our next step, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the development cycle and the testing cycle we have. And to finish, I'm going to um, share uh, how you can get involved with the team if you're interested in any way. So what is the i3 window manager? Uh, in first place, a window manager is the software that controls the position of the windows in your graphical environment. Um, uh, for example, when you open, uh, the genome shell or, or the plasma desktop, the software, when you click an application, this, the software that put the window around the application, that's the window manager. It's not the plasma. Plasma is just a, a combination of, of things that allows you to present the windows to the window manager and the window manager is the, the one to create the space where the window is going to be draw in the, in the, in the graphical environment. So, uh, there is a difference between a win tilling window manager and the desktop environment in terms of what they do. A, willing, a tilling window manager just put the, um, each window as a tile. That is what I call a tilling window manager. It's, it's like you are putting tile nets to each other, but never overlapping one over the other. Uh, the desktop environment normally use the desktop metaphor. The desktop metaphor is like a try, a, try the desktop environment like it was, uh, or like it is uh, a desktop, a physical desktop when you can put a notebook and, and a pencil over it and you can have all the things that you're supposed to have over a desktop. In the case of window manager, they just have, uh, they track each window as a tile, okay? So you can have uh, put the things uh, one next to each other, over other, but not overlapping. So the i3 window manager is a tilling window manager that is reading from scratch, uh, trying to emulate a little bit what was uh, the double MA, MII window manager, uh, but they try to make it, uh, they have to accomplish two objectives. One is to be easier for users to, uh, to use, and the other one was that was well well documented. So the, the the great objective they have was to make it easier for developers to know how to build stuff around the window manager. So the Fedora i3 SIG. Our goal was to make i3 more approachable and usable for Fedora users. So because i3 is intended to be used for um, uh, power users, advanced users, developers, and this kind of a specific um, environment of users or niche of users. Uh, but in terms of Fedora, we want to make it more approachable to all users, not only to advanced users. So we are trying to make um, a desktop environment based in i3 window manager. So it's not a desktop environment as well, it's just a tilling window manager installed from from scratch in Fedora. So you don't rely on the on a desktop environment like Genome or KDE or F FC. You are you rely your desktop only in the i3 window manager. And we the idea is to make it easier for users to, to start uh, using this kind of different metaphor of a desktop. So we create look, the, what in Fedora is called an special interest group or a SIG to work and creating this spin with i3 as a main window manager. So it's just a lot of people that are interested in having a Fedora uh, i3 window manager just directly over the Fedora uh, Linux operating system, not relying uh, over other desktops. So then the way you can have a tilling window manager now is or, or take the basic image, the everything image, uh, and install every package from scratch or put it over uh, a workstation or uh, any other spin. So our idea is to create a spin that boot directly in entry and then you can access directly the i3 window manager without having any other dependency uh, below. So our friend Justin Flory, they create this document that is uh, so beautiful that it is 
it's called the design goals for the Fedora i3 SIG. So the idea is to, to have um, a guidelines of what or how we are going to do the things inside the Fedora i3 SIG. The first is simple is better than complex. So the idea is that the desktop should be usable for for everyone, not only for Fedora, for advanced users. Uh, give me a second, please. I... So the other, uh, the second place is uh, that fast is better than features. The idea is that we are having a minimal desktop environment. That's the idea of the i3 that it keeps things uh, really, really small. I really, really work fast. Just give me a second that I'm having some background noise here. Okay, sorry, I have a background noise. I don't know where it comes from, but no, it's better. Oh, hello, Nasir. Hello, Edward. Sorry, it's a uh, uh, power issue at my side, so I don't have any lights around. <laughs> uh, no problem. Yeah, so I was working, uh, talking about our design goals that were uh, written by Justin. And the idea is the Fedora Spin, the i3 Spin will um, keep trying to to have the scene fast and have the 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 environment working really really fast instead of having the uh, all the features inside. So the idea is that making a thing that work fast and and with a low uh, number of resources. Uh, the other. Um, uh, part is that we, there should be one and preferably only one obvious way to do it. Uh, in the I3C, people normally um, create an environment that works for for them. You create your own workflow inside the I3 window manager. But we are trying to to do the basic computing stuff uh, directly in the in the I3C. So you don't need to to look for a lot of new stuff to put in more than the, the the one that is specific to you. So we are trying to make um, uh, the window, uh, the i3 window manager um, comfortable to use. And now it's better than never. It's the last one that is uh, about the, we try to choose and experiment with new ideas, uh, trying to not, don't break the other design goals. So when a new package is, uh, is there, we are going to try it and see if it's worth better than than the other one, and if it works better for us, we are going to replace the, the old one. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so now, uh, thanks to Nasir that is present now here, we have a functional issue, ISO 3 uh, REST ping with the IT manager that is ready for testing. That as is uh, the, the thing that I'm using in my screen now. And the next step will be provide uh, help with packaging and choose the package that we want to have in our spin and make it easier to users to grab them if they don't choose the, to use the ISO. In the same way that you can do um, DNF install, uh, uh, group install uh, genome or KDE, uh, the idea is to create a group package that you can just say DNF install i3 core and you have the basic stuff or i3 extended, that is the other part. And when we have a lot of applications that people, uh, that advanced users or people that normally use the i3 window manager uh, have in, in their environments. So in this part, I'm going to pass uh, to, to Nasir to uh, talk about our development cycle and the testing environment. Uh, thank you, Edward. So am I audible now? Because I'm on the data plan that we have. Am I audible? Uh, great. 
So uh, with development and testing, Edward, you, can you move to the next slide? Or should I share my screen? Uh, let's keep it at your side. So uh, the i3 window manager that we currently have is packaged and maintained by Dan Selmak. Defolos uh, is his nick or fast ID. He is currently one of the core members of the i3 SIG as well, and uh, he is maintaining i3 related packages and the i3 main package uh, in the Fedora repositories. So am I gone? I don't know what's happening at my You're side. Back. You're back. Uh, am I back? Yes. Uh, so Edward, I think it will. Uh, great. The, 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 I can help with the questions if we do, if we have any back and forth uh, give me a second to present the slides from from my computer again Hi, sorry. Uh, I think the your connection is uh, going back and forth, so I'm trying to finish uh, this. And then I will take the questions. Yeah, no problem, Nasir. I, I will continue. So basically, our our the way we work is we have weekly meetings when we discuss the future step, the package we are going to add, and provide updates on the assigned uh, action items we have. Uh, this happens every week. At 14, I think, UTC every Tuesday. Can you correct me, Nasir, in the chat? Sorry, I don't remember the time of the meetings. I always forgot. Um, we create the uh, uh, bi-weekly uh, resping or the ISO is re recreated. Uh, uh, is recreated every two weeks. Uh, we work in the... Um, one week we work in testing, creating, um, trying to gather feedback to create a new resping the next week. It's Tuesday 16 UTC. Okay, thank you. Um, basically, uh, we are we do we do this work uh, continuously uh, until now. We are working. We have I I think we have already two months almost working in the I three SIG. And the work is being awesome. The guys are the feedback, the the help that Nasir does with the with the ISO creation, the Kickstarter file, and everything. The uh, flows in the packaging and Southern in the uh, publishing of the of the ISO with the other spins. Uh, is the feedback has been really really great. Oh, uh, for a quick demo. 
Okay, I'm running my the i3 window manager, but I have a uh, heavy, heavy customized. So let me see if I can launch a virtual machine I have, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Uh, sorry, I don't have this part prepared. Uh, no, I don't have a, a, a demo. So I'm going to share my screen again. But please remember that this is not the final look because my environment is heavily, heavily customized. Or, uh, let me see, let's try. Okay, so this is my full desktop. I have two screens, one where with a um, uh, with a slideshow that is this one on the left, on your left. So, uh, the idea of the window manager is that windows are tried as tiles, so you can do this. and the windows don't get overlapped un unless you want it, okay? No, it's not that it's impossible. So you can uh, play with the position of the windows and they are going to be uh, show as styles as uh, uh, in, in the positions you really want to have with them without losing your functionality. One thing that I love in, in i3 is that you move your mouse and the focus is moved to the window that the mouse is on, so you don't have to click it. You just move the mouse and the focus is there. Uh, and now another thing that I really, really love of the i3 Seek I don't know if you can see my my bar. I, I have this customized, but there is also a system area where you can have the uh, this, the the Sistry icons that as normally they are normally called Sistry icons for those applications that you need to have the 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 icon under there. For example, network. For example, volume. For example, if you need to put a calendar. In my case, I do have the Telegram and my my the KeyPass XC. Uh, I three is uh, is shipped with a um, a menu that is called D menu, but I uh, I don't use it. But I have the the other D menu. If you if you look here, is this bar over here in the top of the window where you can type the command you're going to run. For example, network. Oh, this is in a in a applet to launch the network icon. And now I have my network icon over here. So I can list the networks I have. Uh, I have a other menu that is called Rofi that works in more like in the metaphor of the desktop. It's a floating window and it works with the doc desktop files. The D menu normally work with the desktop files. I just have the, the command line one that works directly with the comments. And the other thing that you um, that the window manager do for you is that you can have uh, in the IT window, you can have floating windows. If the in case you need to have a window in the desktop metaphor, so you can. Uh, there are other stuff that is called the the in the in the way that uh, i3 works that is called the the tree uh, 
the tree metaphor, then they put all the windows in the, in the form of trees, in Boolean trees, if you are familiar with programming, and you can move from if, if between the nodes of the tree and you can reparent a window to, to be a master or a parent node. But that's a, a little advanced topics. So let me just grab this again. And to finish, uh, the ways we are, you can get involved, you can just be yourself inside a meeting. We have the IRC channel, this is the Fedora i3, Pound Fedora i3. We have the mailing list where you can also send a mail uh, uh, to us. We have a Telegram channel that is Fedora i3 Seek. Uh, Justin kindly uh, share the, um, uh, the, the links on the chat. And we have a lot of things to do. We still need have a lot of testing. We have still uh, help with the packaging because only, we have only one experienced packager in the group. Uh, we, we need testing, we need documentation, uh, and feel free to reach us in any channel to, to help because what we need now is help because we are just uh, starting with this work. Uh, like I say, the IRC channel, Pound Fedora i3, in Matrix is uh, Pound Fedora dash i3 colon matrix dot org. It's uh, way too long. Uh, we can put the link in the in the chat. And we have the Telegram channel that is Fedora i3c. And our mailing list is i3wm at list.fedoraproject.org. So I hope to see you soon. Uh, any question? Yes, yes, uh, we did it. Uh, Itamar, thanks for the comment. Uh, yes, we do have the Kickstarter repo and we have the publicated before on the Respin sites. I don't, I'm not sure why it's not now. Probably we missed the, the latest bill. So if there is another question about it, you can test it. Uh, we are having some issues, like for example, the when when you launch the live ISO, there is no um, wallpaper. But when you install it, the, the wallpaper of the Fedora 32 is there. So the first thing that happens when you launch i3 is that you have the configuration manager that to allow you to choose your uh, your mod key. That's a, a little more advanced uh, usage of the ISO of the i3 window manager. So if there is no other question, so I will leave. Uh, I have the links in the in the chat. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for the interest and please come come to us and help us. If we need help, we need more um, more work doing, we, more, we, have, uh, we need more documentation and we are deciding what people want to have in the in the ISO. It's not only about uh, just uh, having a basic environment, but trying to have it uh, an environment that works out of the box, that you don't need to install too many things to make it work. So thank you so much. And I see you in another uh, room, probably in the mindshare or the console one.